What's up guys? The AK-47's here and I just got done installing the jumper mod for my 06 Ninja 636. But yeah, so whenever, I'm just gonna let this warm up. Whenever I uh, get out riding, I will explain to you what this mod does or what it's supposed to do as long as you install it right. Which I'm not sure if I have yet, so we're gonna see. This is my first time riding with it and y'all's first time riding with it on my bike. All right, I already had my bike kind of warmed up, so we're already warmed up here, up at 112 degrees, and we'll see what happens. All right. Hey, what's up you guys, the AK-47's here, and I, just got done installing the jumper mod to my 2006 Ninja 636. Uh, this is my first ride with it. I haven't yet tested it out, uh, really, because you have to be up in 13,000 RPM or higher on my bike in order to test it. And so what I'm doing is I'm actually getting to a road where if I get to 13,000 on my bike, I'll actually still be in the speed limit. That way I'm not going super duper fast. Um, so we'll see up here. Uh, I'm actually going to go right instead. And uh, so yeah, we'll see uh, if I get a horsepower gain from it or not. I've heard anything from 7 to 12 horsepower. So we'll see right here. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. Normally I can only get up to about 57 in first gear, and that's how I got up to 66 in first gear. So that's a 9 mile per hour gain after 13,000 RPM. Ooh, man, that was fast. Okay, so, for all of you guys that are like myself, I didn't know what the jumper mod was, I didn't know how to do it, I didn't know what it did, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I'll try to explain it with the best words that I can. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I can explain this very well, but the US version, uh, there's two versions of the 05 to 08 Ninja ZX6R. There's the US version, and then there's the European version. The US version uh, limits the bike by having this thing in the ECU that controls a valve and whenever you get above uh, like 13,000 RPM I think it is the EPA emissions of the United States or whatever they make the valve close so that it doesn't like let out a bunch of high-end emissions or whatever the heck you want to call it and basically what this mod does is you put like a little wire or a paper clip or whatever into your ECU and it basically overrides the exhaust valve or the flap or whatever you want to call it and so it gives you power all the way from 13 up to 15,000 RPM or wherever it redlines and so you don't lose any power like you do when it comes stock and the European versions just come naturally without the valve on it because they don't care about emissions as much as we do, I guess. Um, so if you have a European bike over here, then you either haven't gotten it inspected yet or you're getting away with it somehow. Because if you get if you get that like inspected or whatever, they'll probably put the valve in there or whatever they have to do. 
but so yeah this overrides that and basically gives you 7 to 12 horsepower on the dyno it, it adds like 7 to 12 rear wheel horsepower to your bike that's what I've heard I'm not sure if that's exact numbers or not but that's what I've heard um, all I know is before this mod all I could do in first gear was get up to about 57 miles per hour or so and then I just did a first gear pull and it got me up to 66 miles per hour so seems to be working I'm not sure how well it's working or if it's working to its full potential or not but I did a uh, I did a first gear pull and I also did a second gear pull uh, that wasn't on camera I did the second gear pool that was all the way up to uh, red line and let me tell you how much more horsepower I felt off of that thing. You know, I did it on a straight open road, obviously, but I felt so much more horsepower. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty insane, but yeah, so if you guys have a 05 to 08 Ninja ZX6R and you don't know how to do this and you would like to do it then contact me um, as always I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your bike I'm not responsible for anything that happens to you uh, I'm not responsible for you being all throttle happy and getting a speed ticket and I'm also not responsible for if you forget to take it out before you go to the dealership or wherever to either sell it or get it inspected or whatever. Because I've heard that if you do that, you won't pass inspection or something like that. So you never know. Uh, do I want to go straight? Do I want to go straight? Do I want to go straight? Is that a free exit? Is it a free exit? It is a free exit. Sweet. Oh, I love waving to kids. That's so much fun.